Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mahua. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about how to get the two girl confidence. And if you don't know who the two girl is, she is this new viral sensation that has been getting very popular on TikTok. Her name is Sabrina Bassoon, but everyone refers to her as the tube girl. And she is this girl that just sings and is very confident on the tube, which is like the London subway system. And everyone has been loving her because she is very like out there. She is very confident. She doesn't care what people think things because she just lip syncs on the tube. She got invited to the Milan fashion show. She is working with Mac. She literally blew up overnight. Like she posted in August of 2023. Now she has close to a million followers and it is very iconic. Everyone is trying to be like her and I really love it. It's like a little confidence movement. It's making all the girlies want to just be more out there. So I kind of wanted to make a video on just how to be more confident because I'm the type of person that loves doing things alone. I've been on a lot of solo trips. I live by myself. I do a lot of solo dates and I just really believe that your most true confident self comes out when you feel comfortable enough doing things by yourself So I am really excited to show you what I have been doing the past few years to be a little bit more comfortable and confident Just so you can do it too. Disclaimer I don't think you have to be so out there like the two girl to be confident I feel like everyone has their own interpretation of that they can be introverted and quiet and still be confident So I'm gonna show you how to physically feel confident, but also in Internally feel confident. I feel like when I do see videos like this, it is talking so much about the physical sense. It's also very important to feel internally confident, you know? Please excuse my voice right now. I am sick, but I am getting ready for a little Central Park date in New York City. Right now, I am using the Rare Beauty Concealer in shade 430W. Also, the fact that Sabrina Miss Tube Girl is brown makes me so happy. We love brown girls getting to the top. Okay, first let's get the physical part out of the way. Obviously, when you are trying to be more confident, it really helps when you are planning your look and you're planning your outfit and your makeup because your physical appearance has a very big play on your confidence, right? Something that I used to never do before is just plan my outfit the night before because I thought that was so silly. I can just plan in the morning of, but that small thing really makes a very big difference because you actually are putting effort into your outfit and your look and I would also do this thing where I would just save outfits I know a lot of you guys also do this you would buy something very expensive or something very nice looking and you would just never wear it because you are saving it for a special occasion and then you just never end up wearing it because that special occasion is never good enough for that outfit I bought it with my hard-earned money obviously I'm going to wear it now and it just makes you feel like every single day is a special occasion you know and you also have to get into this mentality that you are dressing good for yourself and not for other people when you get out of this mentality that you are competing with other people And that's why you have to look good It just makes you feel a lot better about yourself and more confident because you realize that the world is about how you feel And how you look for yourself and not about trying to one-up other people You know the most confident people don't compare themselves to other people. Also, this is a Kulfi beauty concealer I love using this because it is South Asian owned as well And I just use it to like highlight my face a little bit also guys How do you feel about white bathrobes? I feel like I get it so dirty so quick the second thing that I would do to help your confidence is just taking a risk so it doesn't have to be anything crazy it can be something very little and subtle but just doing something different something out of your comfort zone just makes you feel more confident and it gives you this high right so I'm not talking about changing your hair completely I'm not talking about like jumping off of a plane skydiving right I'm talking about something very subtle it can just be you taking a whole different class that is not related to your major at all or maybe applying for a job that you usually wouldn't because you assume that you're not gonna get it I feel like something like that is just so simple but it makes you feel like you're able to accomplish so much more because it gives you that adrenaline rush and then when you do achieve it it makes you feel a lot better it makes you feel like you can do so much more I've always wanted to dye my hair red and then I never wanted to because I thought I'd look bad but when I did do that or even when I cut my hair it just made me feel physically better for a little bit temporarily obviously these things are physical it's not like a permanent solution but it made me feel oddly that I could achieve a lot more I also low-key like blending the blush into my concealer a little bit to make it look a little bit more natural and blended this is the Nina blush by the way I worked with them and it was so much fun something else that is so underrated is positive self-talk so positive self-talk is very important a lot of us negatively talk about ourselves without even thinking about it in our head out loud 
and that has a very big impact on how we act and how we feel in the long term so for example if we're constantly calling ourselves ugly in our head if we're constantly doubting ourselves in our head or even out loud it's going to start making us feel less confident because we start internalizing those feelings and thoughts about ourselves and I promise you I did the same thing and I still do and it's very hard to get over that but something that does really help is maybe just writing down positive thoughts on paper first so something that you can do is maybe write down all the negative thoughts that you have about yourself for example if you think that you have a bigger nose or you always tell yourself that you're not smart enough for something you can write all of those things down and then make another column where you write the opposite of that that is more positive and this act will just force you to physically write down the things that you think of and just think of the opposite and then it's going to slowly make you internalize those written thoughts but it is very important to just have positive self-talk because if you are constantly bringing yourself down then you just have lower respect for yourself and it's going to be okay when other people bring you down if they do you start caring less about what other people say and their insults when you have just like such a strong barrier and such a strong mind that like no one can just phase you you know when you're sick you just want your face to look absolutely matte because of how much you are blowing your nose I've been using this Laura Mercier translucent powder forever like look how matte my face already looks something else that I also really like doing for positive self-talk is just putting like positive affirmations all around my house I'll have post-its where I have like different quotes and different things that I would say to myself to just have like that reminder when I do look at random parts of my house so it'll be in my kitchen on my bathroom mirror by my bed places where it's like very obvious and places that you'll look at constantly that just rewires your brain into taking those seriously and talking like that permanently you know dang I forgot my bronzer I'm not very big on putting cream products on top of powder but we have to make it work my next tip is don't doubt yourself because you're scared of being cringe so being cringe is when you feel disgust or embarrassment for something that you do right it's kind of like an insult and it prevents a lot of people from doing the things that they love or from being confident or whatever it is because they're scared of being cringe right that can be posting a video that can be raising your hand in class that can be wanting to be friends with someone or trying a new makeup trick right a lot of people stop doing that because they're scared of what other people are going to say about them or being cringe fall into the cringe be cringe that is going to make you happy and you have to stop caring about what other people think right when I first started posting content right I always have wanted to do that I had so many things that I wanted to say to the world I was obviously scared because I had friends from high school and family members and things like that who are following me and I didn't want to seem like I was trying too hard or trying to be famous or being too vocal as a woman you know that always stopped me and it stopped me for a very long time for years right and then I kind of had to get over my own thinking and those roadblocks and just do it because I knew that it would make me happy and eventually that cringe became success and I did the things that I wanted to do and there are so many things that people are saying to you to prevent you to stop doing what you love but just lean into the cringe you know I really love you guys while I'm recording this because I am sick AF like something else that I was very scared of doing when I was in school was just raise my hand even though I had such a good idea such a smart thought and I would let other people say that thought before I had the chance to do it because I would just overthink in my head and I would just assume that it wasn't important enough or it would be wrong I would just like second guess myself who cares if your idea is wrong still raise your hand like once you start conditioning yourself into doing things that you want to do without caring what other people think it makes you more sure about yourself and it makes you more confident because it starts building up this like catalyst you know same thing as when you take a risk it gives you this high and you feel like you can continuously do it over and over and you can not all ideas are going to land not everything that you do is going to be the best thing that you want to do forever but as long as you did it you know taking that risk and doing that thing for yourself even if other people don't support it or don't, they don't want you to do it it just makes you feel more sure of yourself and it makes you feel like you are invincible and that you can do whatever you want so be as cringe as you want because here I am now filming a get ready with me and making a video on how to be confident something that I would have never done years ago and it's helping you guys I'm doing what I love and I make money from it Y'all, I just use back-to-back -back ColourPop products. Like, they are so good. I just use a bronzer, the, um, what the hell is that called? 
cream bronzer, the matte bronzer, and now the blush. Like this blush is so good. This is in the shade Forever Yours. The next thing that makes you so confident is when you perfect your own skill. So when you invest time into learning something new and just being the expert on it, it makes you feel so confident because not only do you have all this new knowledge that you can, you know, be passionate about and you can teach other people on it, but it makes you feel like you can be confident in that one subject matter. So something that I did get very well versed on very early on in my 20s and in my late teens was just like learning how to start a business it's not something that anyone ever taught me to do it's not something that I was really encouraged to pursue at that age but it was something that I was really adamant on learning about right and now that I am 25 and I know how to run a business for the most part a lot of people ask me how to do the same thing and it makes me feel like I can help other people and my ideas matter and my information matters you know it feels like people can come to me and actually leave with something valuable because I got to a point where I can actually teach other people, you know? So like, it makes you feel confident intellectually because not only are you learning something for yourself, but your information is something that can actually be valuable to other people. It makes you actually want to speak up and talk about things passionately. Also, I've been using brown cream eyeliners instead of black because it makes things so much more natural and you can smoke it out. So it's been really fun. I highly recommend, like look at that. Also, when you are investing so much time in this new skill, it gets you out of bed. It makes you not want to be in a rut it makes you actually want to do something and invest your time in a smart and healthy productive way you know you are doing something for yourself and you're just learning how to like speak up for yourself and be passionate about something we love hot smart girls out here you know this is the cool Fee beauty brown kajal i also use it on my lips sometimes for that natural brown look all right so the next thing to be confident is having a confident posture this has such a big part in how you are perceived and just is how you feel as well so something that you know I might have done when I was younger was just when I walked into a room my eyes would be down I wouldn't feel like I actually belong there I'd have imposter syndrome I still do have that sometimes but you got to kind of fake it till you make it right so when you walk into the room your eyes have to be up you have to have like a warm face on right you have to look like you actually belong there when you talk to someone you have to make direct eye contact you have to have your body facing them you know body language is a very big thing and once you perfect that and once you feel like you can do that without thinking so much about your body language people will actually want to be friends with you more they'll trust you more because you are an active listener because it seems like you actually care and you do and because you exude this confidence you know people want to be around confident people I love being around people that also exude positive energy and it feels like they actually want to talk to me and listen to me it can be very subtle things like nodding your head when people are talking so it seems like you are listening and understanding what they're saying it can be just smiling sometimes there's also a thing where if your head is turned towards someone but your body is facing the other way it seems like you're uncomfortable and it seems like you don't really want to talk to them because you don't have that welcoming energy and your legs are faced another way so it's important to face your entire body this rare beauty mascara is so good I don't know what Miss Selena Gomez did but it does not smudge at all and it actually makes my eyelashes look long and Luminous. This lip liner is so good. The perfect like maroon fall lip. This is by Revlon. My next thing to feel more confident in yourself, I did kind of mention this before, is just to go on more solo dates. When you are starting to get more accustomed to be by yourself and it can be something very small like going to the grocery store, or going to the library by yourself, it starts making you feel like you can accomplish a lot more because you become a little bit more independent and you feel a lot more confident being around other people because you're just so comfortable being by yourself already. I started going on solo dates in the last few years when I did move out and I started having to do things by myself learning how to do chores and taking out trash and building furniture and things like that and then I wanted to actually go outside by myself like you know, going to the park by myself to read going to coffee shops eating by myself and then solo traveling internationally it really starts small and it's really important to just like build that self-confidence by yourself first and trusting yourself and knowing what you like alone and then finally knowing what you like in partner or friendships you know having that foundation by yourself really makes such a big difference also this lip gloss is from the dollar store but it somehow does the thing like it's it's literally broken but I've had it for years and it has not budged. I feel very fall today. What do you guys think? Okay, I am finally ready for my day. The final step is just spraying my favorite perfumes. I love smelling good. It's a very underrated thing. I actually just started doing it more. Having your own signature smell 
is just such a nice feeling but it takes a long time to discover that and find your own signature smell. I didn't even know what I wanted until I found it. So this one I actually customized by myself at a New York City store called Old Factory. But I also love Victor and Rolf. I like the company Five Cents. But let me show you the final, let me show you the final outfit. So this is the final look. We got some Doc Martens, a maxi skirt for my aunt or my mom from the early 2000s, an oversized denim jacket, just a normal white tee my Joy Bangla tote bag that I designed, some New York City ambulances in the back, and then obviously my Amsterdam thrifted sunglasses that make me look like Buzz Buzz, but I don't care because it's my own style and fashion sense, right? Can't be everyone's cup of tea, but it is mine, so that's what matters. But anyways, let me know how you guys like this video. I miss doing a get ready with me makeup edition, talking edition video. I haven't done one in a really long time, and this is my first ever one at my new vanity table, my first ever makeup vanity table, so it feels like a very big moment. But please let me know if it was helpful, and if you got some tips from this, I just love talking anything girl related, anything confidence related, just to get you to be your higher self please let me know if you do want more videos like this the two girl confidence is all in us we can all participate in it in our own way it doesn't have to be as loud and as out there but we can still do it if you guys like this video please like and subscribe it really helps very much and i'm trying to hit 40,000 subscribers please follow me on my instagram and tiktok where you can see me post every single day. You can also check out my website where I sell a lot of my art and apparel. I have some art over here. I also have some of my designs over there. It's labyrinthav.com. I also have a podcast with my partner called Difficult Dish. You can find it on Spotify, Apple, all streaming platforms, and we're actually coming to YouTube with video format. So you will find that very soon when the new season starts again. But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.